Hey buddy, in this video you start, and I'm going to give you a more detailed process on how to fix your Steam account. Whether it's offline, online, or it's it's online, but it's not working, or it's offline, and you you did a billion things and it's still not working. Okay, let's start with, uh, with the basics. Uh, we're going to click on Steam. Now, you can click on Steam in your little taskbar, or you can go to Start, and you can click, or you can search Steam and it's going to come up with your little icon and this is how you access your personal steam account um, you can't go online and search it up there it just doesn't have the same button options now here we go I'm in my steam account and uh, as soon as it loads up there we go we're now gonna say we're now gonna see in the upper left corner we're gonna okay opposite of you know where you have your a uh, mail messaging and exit button on the opposite side on the left side it has something called steam view friends games and help so we're going to click steam and then we're going to see under change user is going to be go offline now it's for people who want to go offline to do other stuff i have no idea i'm just you know telling you guys hey here's the go offline button which will lead to part two of the tutorial so i'm going to click go offline and it's going to restart. And it's gonna turn and it's gonna turn off Steam and it's going to restart it. As if you're restarting your computer. And it's gonna take a few seconds, maybe a minute at most. And Steam should be offline now. Now, for people who want to have, okay, for people who have trouble and have their Steam offline and they cannot fix it at all, um, this is a quick way how to fix it and it will fix, uh, sorry about that, and it will probably fix 89 to 100% uh, of you guys. Um, I'm going to X off of this so I can show you from the beginning. So, okay, Steam does not work. It has, if you look real close, or zoom in right here, guys, it says Steam offline. It also has a red squiggly line saying that Steam is offline. Now, you can click right here, and it's a pop-up Steam, or you can do what I did, and I can search Steam. And this is for people who can't find Steam on their computer. So, you just search it, you pop it up, and there you go. Steam is offline, and I cannot connect to anything. So, you're going to go to the same place I did before. Uh, across from the exit button in the you know your email uh, on the Steam account and all that stuff is you go to the Steam little uh, word button and under change users is something called go online now before it said go offline now we want to go online and it's gonna say oh we're gonna restart it will rec uh, require Steam to rec uh, restart and so they take a couple of seconds and turn everything back online and then Steam uh, Steam is connecting to my account. Um, now it's going to think, 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 and then turn everything online, and then you should be actually good to go. Um, this, like I said, this should fix a good 89 to 100 percent of you guys. There you go. I'm now online, and it's telling me what's for sale. And somebody wants me to join their group. Okay, now I'm gonna exit close all windows now for people who have problems and it says it's online or it's offline and they this does not work what actually could be the problem is let's go to the steam folder is that uh, when steam updates sometimes it will duplicate a file say any of these dill files dot dill file um, any of these things could be in duplicated and therefore you are Steam is getting information, but it sees two versions of the uh, program. Say it like this, for example, app overlay dot dill or uh, db uh, g debug help dot dill. If it updates it and duplicates it in the process, saying, "Oh, you know, we could just do something," and it does something really bad or dumb, it duplicates it. Well, the old old uh, version is in a hidden process. And you can't always, you, I mean, sometimes you can click right on it and you can say, uh, properties, I want to view everything. Um, 
uh, I don't know where it is exactly on this. I usually run Ubuntu and it has something saying unhide everything. Uh, so I think if you say hidden and you click unhide everything it will show it. Uh, but Windows is kind of quirky sometimes. It will not show you hidden folders. So yeah, you could have app overlay dot dill and it's the new one you're saying I don't see any duplicated files it hides it you can't always see hidden files and Steam sees it of course it's the master program saying I see two programs and I don't know which one to send to I'm gonna send it to both there's an error and then you cannot work Steam so the best play best thing to do at that point is to uh, uninstall Steam which is a pain reinstall Steam I mean, the uninstalling and reinstalling is not a pain. The actual pain of you losing what you installed on your computer, the games, through Steam is a pain. Um, but you need to uninstall, reinstall, and then everything is going to be A-OK, -okay, and then you're good to go. You can also email Steam and uh, go through the Steam help. Uh, maybe somebody else with more computer skills, more tech skills, or maybe even Steam itself will say, oh shoot, we need to fix that problem. Remember, if you email them, they can fix these problems because they actually have the master program coders that say, oh shoot, we need to send another update to fix the previous update. So always give them an email and they'll, and they'll get to you as quickly as, quickly as possible. But if they don't, and uh, the first two and the first way doesn't help of you know turning on Steam and you're still having pro uh, trouble. Just uninstall it, reinstall it, and you're good as gold. Again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any other Steam issues, please email me or put them down below in the comments. And I hope to see you on the next tutorial. Like and subscribe as always, and have a great day, guys.